Hello, Sherry. I have a question about making cannabis butter. I've made a batch and it was really green. But then I made a second batch sometime later with a different product and it came out more yellow. Should the butter always be green or does it really depend on the product? Does the color of the butter even matter at all? Well, these are great questions. Before I get to the answer, I just want to remind you all, hit that YouTube subscribe button and notification bell because I try to upload new videos every Wednesday. So the color of your cannabis butter, as you guessed, will change depending on the strain of cannabis you are cooking with. It can range from a pale yellow or a pale green all the way up to a very dark green depending on the product. Uh, purple strains get even darker sometimes when it comes to making butter. It's really nothing to be concerned about because the color of the butter has nothing to do whatsoever with the potency of the cannabis. So it's really not a problem. The only time it might become a problem would be aesthetically. So if you were like making a white angel food cake, for instance, if you're using a really, well, you wouldn't be using butter in angel food cake. So that's not a good example. But another type of food that would be white is say a vanilla cake or some mashed potatoes or something like that. If your butter is very green, it might add a slight green tint to your food. But that would be the only time it would be an issue. If it bothers you, you can use the technique of infusing with water in the mix and there'll be a link below to how to do that. And that will somewhat cut down on the color and also the acrid green flavor in your infusion, but only a little bit. So you can only get rid of the color to a certain degree, but it's really nothing to worry about. Hope this helps. Eat your weed. Mm -hmm.